Alright, so to start off with my face today, I already used my cleanser. That's a clean and clear um, blue cleanser. I think it's called Oxygen Infused Cleanser. And I use that to wash my face. And after washing my face, I use my Atenia Toning Mist as my toner today. That toning mist is actually made up of pure, natural ingredients. So it's actually really good for your skin. And I went in with a mask afterwards I uh, my skin was really acting up I actually need to do a facial right now so yeah I wanted to do like a mini skincare routine before going into the whole makeup part of this video because my skin was acting up I really need to do a facial so after letting that sit and dry for about 15 to 20 minutes, I rinsed it off and I also scrubbed my lips using my watermelon scrub from Wet n Wild and I really love this lip scrub. Now for gloss, I'm going to use a clear gloss for my lips and to top it off, I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. For toner, as you can see, I'm going to use my Oli Face Toner. That one has witch haze in it, so it's really good for the skin. And after which, I'm going to moisturize my skin using my Clean and Clear Moisturizer. I recently started using this moisturizer and trust me, I've been seeing the difference in my skin even though it's in a horrible condition. So. Um, I think you guys should try that out. I think I'm going to do an updated skincare routine because I've changed a lot of products since my last skincare routine. So yeah, let me know if you guys want to get one of those too. Now to start off my brows, I'm going to use that angled brush. And uh, I'm going to use my dip brow. That's the LA Girl dip brow in the shade Dark Brown. So for concealer, I used my Milani concealer in the shade 155 to conceal my brows. I recently started using this concealer and guys, it's incredible. <laughs> I really love that concealer. It's very matte so it dries on really nice and it just gives your brows that nice clean polished finish. And to prime my lids, I'm going to use my P. Louise eyeshadow base in the shade Rumor Zero. So now for the eyeshadow portion of my video, I'm going to use my Juvia's Base eyeshadow palette. And I'm gonna start off with that dark brown. It's almost like a charcoal shade. And I'm just gonna pack that in my crease as you're seeing right now. So first I'm just gonna pack it in. So I'm like pressing and blending as I go along. So first blend, pack it in and blend. So yeah. And just follow the steps. It's actually a very simple eyeshadow routine um, 
if you have trouble um, with the cut crease this would be your only issue but it's a very nice and natural look like it's glam but yet it's very neutral at the same time so I didn't use any bright colors for this eyeshadow Now I'm gonna go into my dirty <laughs> soft glam palette and I'm gonna use that deep burgundy shade and I'm just gonna use it to smoke out the charcoal shade. So you'll see the transition, it's gonna move from, as you can see under the eye, it's gonna move from a burnt orange or a orange to the deep burgundy to the black. No, to the charcoal then to the black so yeah um this this tutorial requires a lot of blending and um, going back and forth with the other shades so sometimes like um as you can see i'm using the orange right now so after applying the orange i might lose the pigmentation in the burgundy so I'd have to go back in with the burgundy so yeah, you kind of go back and forth with the shades but the final look is all worth it And now to cut my crease, I'm going to use my P. Louise eyeshadow base in the shade Rumor Zero. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to use that base to... Uh, I'm just going to apply it right in the crease first. Um, I don't know what happened. I was out of focus the entire time I was cutting my crease. Which is quite unfortunate, but I still want to explain to you guys what I'm doing. So I'm just packing it on right in the crease. I'm just outlining the cut crease right now. Then I'm going to get a toner, I'm going to put it on a cotton swab and then clean up the lid space where I'm going to go in with the, um, the new shade. So as you can see, I'm showing you guys what I'm using and I'm just going to remove all that color. So you're going to see a bare lid now, but I'm not going to remove the black shade. So after doing so, I'm going to go back in with the peel weed and I'm going to pat it on my So that way the, the P. Louise base will come out way brighter than um, just going ahead with the cut crease. So as you can see it looks really white right now. Then I'm going to go in with that, um, it's like a very nude orangish color. It's like a lighter version of the orange that I used. And I'm just going to put that right beside the black shade. So you're just going to see a transition from nude to um, that burnt orange looking color, <laughs> then, then the black. I really packed on that nude shade by the way because it wasn't coming out as near as I want it to. So I just kept packing it on until it gave me the look that I wanted. So as you can see I'm going back with the new shade in the middle. So I really go back and forth with the colors and over my eyes. And now to get my face to last for the entire night, I'm going to use my Milk of Magnesia. Now this really helps the makeup to just sit on your face. 
it acts as a primer for your makeup i recently i think it's the second time i'm using this thing and it actually really works um i never thought i'd ever use this on my face but yeah it's a good product to use as a primer so it dries white like what you're seeing now and it really helped um to hold on the whiteheads that were pumping through my pores because guys i need a facial so in the meantime i'm gonna do my hair so kimisha my boo right there yeah she's cute <laughs> so she's gonna put on um the ponytail she's gonna sew the ponytail onto my little braid in the back so yeah um, you can just watch what she's doing so she's gonna start from the end of the ponytail and she's gonna sew it until it reaches the top um i actually really love the way this um, ponytail turned out it's really really cute and natural so she's just um sewing it on the ponytail so as she sews the hair she's gonna wrap it around the ponytail and each time that she wraps it around the ponytail she is gonna sew it again so it secures the ponytail that way so yeah you can just watch as you go along After doing my hair, I'm just going to take a quick shower and come back. Now, yeah, that's how my eyes are looking so far. It's a very soft but glam eyeshadow look. And now I'm going to start off with my face. Now, I'm going to use my regular foundation. That's the Revlon Color Stay Foundation. I'm in the shade Caramel. Now, the Milk of Magnesia really got this makeup looking good on my face, guys. Like, it just had it melt right into my skin and it was looking amazing. Remember I said my skin was breaking out? So, normally when my skin is acting up, it doesn't look as good. The foundation does not look as good. But the Milk of Magnesia, guys, it really helped me out that night. As you guys can see I really loved the way that makeup was looking on my face like I was feeling myself <laughs> all right so next after showering I applied this um, body oil to my chest area because my chest area is gonna show in the outfit that I'm gonna wear and guys when I say my skin was glowing 
Well, let me just show you guys a clip of how good my skin is looking after using this body oil. Like, look at that, guys. Mm, that glow. And um, the oil that I used is my Etenia Bath and Body Oil. And it actually smells really good. Conceal Plus Perfect Concealer and that's in the shade 155. Now I'm going to use that first to, to highlight my face and then I'm going to go in with a lighter shade which is 150 um, and I'm just going to put that at the, the highest points really just under my eyes and my forehead. To set my highlight, I'm going to first use my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Um, I actually use two setting powders, so I start off with the Laura Mercier Translucent, Translucent Powder. And that is going to get the makeup to look very smooth. It doesn't have any color, so it just allows the concealer to set nicely but um, look very smooth at the same time. And then to give it that highlighted effect I'm gonna use my Sasha buttercup and that's really gonna give me that nice yellow beautiful um, highlight <music> asked me a few months ago I think for a video on how to get your makeup to last for the entire day or night and this is actually the perfect tutorial for you guys so this is like a two-in-one so it's a video on how your makeup can last how to get your makeup to last for the entire night and a get ready with me so Actually using that black liner I'm gonna use that black shade from the soft glam palette to smoke out my lash line or to really um, set the eyeliner so prevents it from running so even if it runs into the black eyeshadow it still looks amazing and after which I'm gonna go in with my deep burgundy shade <clears throat> from the soft glam palette and that's gonna smoke out the black eyeshadow
after applying mascara i'm gonna go in with my milani powder in the shade warm now that shade is one shade darker than my complexion so i just use it on the lower part of my face and it really acts as a bronzer to my skin and for blush i'm gonna use that same blush that i always use that's a mac blush in the shade copper tone seeing that I'm actually going out tonight I decided that I'm gonna do a little contouring so I'm gonna use my black radiance contour palette and I'm just gonna mix those two shades I think it's a medium medium to dark one to look even more intense I'm gonna use my Sasha buttercup right below my contour line and to highlight I'm gonna use my same old highlight as so a Fenty Beauty in the shade Hustler Baby my Fenty Beauty is actually like hitting pan right now so I think I topped it off with the Juvia's Place um, the highlight palette yeah, I think I used it. It was the first part that I used in this video. So afterwards, I topped it off with that. But my camera died, so it wasn't really showing all of that. So um, I didn't even get a chance to film my lips, applying the, the, lip, the lip combo on my lips. But I used the um, Jordana Brown Pencil. And I used that matte lipstick. The Super Stay Matte Lipstick in the shade number 5, Loyalist. So that's how the makeup turned out. I was really loving it. It's very soft but glam, as I said. And yeah, I'm just going to show you guys a little clip of how my night went. And yeah, um, this is the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Love you guys.